Our Lord is more merciful than our own mothers upon us. O slave of Allah, if it's not Allah Azza wa Jal, whom you desire to please, if it's not Allah Azza wa Jal, who you turn to, then where would you go to? Who would look after you and shelter you and aid you and protect you other than Allah Azza wa Jal? We were created in this world for a purpose, for a reason, and that is to know Allah Azza wa Jal. We did not exist in this world except to know Allah Azza wa Jal and to worship Him. Allah Azza wa Jal in His glorious book, He said, أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ And I did not create jinn and mankind except to worship me alone. And how would you be able to worship Allah without knowing Him? How would you be able to fear Allah if you did not know Him? How can you love Allah if you do not know Him? How can you prostrate to Allah if you do not know Him? It's obvious that we are required to know Allah. And this is part of our worship is to know of Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah Azza wa Jal, He tells us that if there was any God in the heavens and the earth, it would have been corrupted. He said in His glorious book, لَوْ كَانَ فِيهِمَا آلِهَةٌ إِلَّا اللَّهُ لَفَسَدَتَا فَسُبْحَانَ اللَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَرْشِ عَمَّا يَصِفُونَ If there was any God in the heavens and the earth, it would have been corrupted. The heavens and the earth will be corrupted, they will be destroyed. And the likeness, my brothers, goes to our hearts. When any, whenever, any other than Allah Azza wa Jal is in our hearts, whenever any other than Allah Azza wa Jal is the one whom we love and submit to, we will corrupt and we will be destroyed. Knowing Allah Azza wa Jal is the cause of life for the individual. It's the second birth that every person who believes in Allah will experience. Every person has two births. The birth the day his mother gave birth in him, and the second one is when he learns Allah as the weather. It brings 
and in short, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, is the reason why the Quran was sent down. The Quran was sent down to teach you about Allah Azza wa Jai, about His names, and about His attributes, and about His allies, those who worship Him from the, from the, from the prophets and the messengers and their followers and the result of those who dis and the end result of those who disbelieve and the stories of the past all this is to inform you about Allah Azza wa Jal. it's all there to teach you about Allah Azza wa Jal. knowing Allah Azza wa Jal has its proofs has its impact on our lives if a person doesn't know Allah Azza wa Jal, how can he be him? How can he love him? This person is someone who can be easily taken away. He'll be, he'll be no different to that balloon that is thrown out there in the wind. Nothing can hold it down. And the end result of it is it's going to be lost. The knowing about Allah Azza wa Jal has its fruits and has its effects on every person who has that knowledge.